Hi there. Uh, so in this uh, short tutorial, I just wanted to share with you a quick tip how you can use an auxiliary effectors to help you um, modify animations in Human IK. So basically, what I have here is a simple walk, female walk animation on a metahuman skeleton with a bunch of uh, metahuman uh, meshes just for preview sake. So uh, I have already set up character definition here so I can lock the skeleton and now bake animation to the control rig. All right, so then animation is baked to the control rig. I can hide the original source skeleton just to not move it. And here uh, we have uh, human IK controls. So let's say um, I don't like the hips swinging uh, right now. It is a little bit too much to the side. It swings, swivels too much. So uh, I wanted to modify it. Right, so uh, basically you would like to uh, take this control and modify it side to side, right? So here side to side is uh, translate x in this case, this is this curve. So and here I will use the Animbot tools scale from default. And, but you can use uh, also Maya uh, default tools uh, to scale those curves uh, here. So, and I want to like tone down this curve, but when I try to do that, the whole body moves uh, together with hips and I don't want to, uh, to do this to happen. So I want to modify only the hips, also the, um, the swivel. Uh, which is the rotation y uh, y in this case uh, if i check this channel uh, you need to like modify this curve turn it down and also in this case when i modify it uh, the whole body moves so how to solve this problem uh, the human ak has something like how options like pin translation pin rotation but when you do pin the chest both in translation and rotation and try to modify let's say uh, rotation of hips it doesn't work i don't know why it's some kind of failure of human ik system but okay and also when i try to modify the, the translation also it doesn't work so how to solve this and the solution is auxiliary effectors. Uh, so how do you uh, use them? Uh, I will show you right now. You need to, uh, we want to like hold the chest in the place, right? So you, uh, we will be using auxiliary effectors. Right click on the chest control and you have the option create auxiliary effector. Okay, click and you can see we have the effector. It is basically IK tar target for the chest to, um, to follow. But as you can see, uh, it doesn't follow exactly the animation and it, it breaks the animation slightly. And we don't want to happen it uh, this way. So uh, the trick is to pass the animation data to auxiliary effector. And you can do that by simply copying animation from original chest uh, control and we will do this uh, in two parts first copy the translation later rotations i i found that uh, when you try to copy the both uh, at the same time there's often some um, error when you get uh, different uh, rotations in different channels so it's safer to copy separately so uh, select um, three translation channels uh, select curves in a graph editor hit ctrl c on the keyboard and move to auxiliary effector and you need to reselect those channels it's safer this way click in graph editor and ctrl v paste all right so we have translations and now get back to the chest effector select 
let's select rotations select all the curves ctrl c for copy okay move to auxiliary reselect the channels click in graph editor ctrl v for paste all right so we already have uh, the effector moving along with animation which is what we wanted and you can check that uh, by switching through those controls that they have the same values both translation and rotation so nothing has changed okay but now the magic happens when we get back to our hips which we wanted to modify if we move it sides chest stays in place which is exactly what I wanted and also rotation oh, you don't want to mess with uh, manipulators in the viewport it's better to take the curve right here so we can now safely modify this hips and we just want to tone it down right so like 50 percent less swivel in the hips and also in translation we want to tone it down all right let's make it like this okay and let's check the chest stays put but our hips are now toned down which is what we exactly wanted okay so this is the quick tip how we can use the auxiliary effectors to modify different parts of the body and now we can safely bake the animation to the skeleton all right everything is baked and you can see uh, we have the same female walk uh, but the hips are now uh, much more toned down uh, we don't have as that much of swinging from side to side all right i hope uh, it helps you somehow and see you later